Hello, and welcome back to Nick's Hobbies and Interests. All right, as part of the house makeover project, and even before that, it was always a plan to basically redo the attic, put floorboards down, board up all these beams, and yeah, turn this into a room. A room to do YouTube and well, obviously store things in, that won't change. But yeah, the floorboards needed to be done. So I'll quickly give you a rotation. And as you can see, we've still got another two, roughly another two lengths, another two lines should do it. And yeah, we'll, we'll get there. We are slowly turning it into a room. Anyway, time to get back to work. Oh, yes, I'm back. Right, the floorboards are in. We've left the eaves just for now because we ran out of floorboards. I only had 10 and believe it or not, 10 came to about 246 pounds. So yeah, 10's done the main room. I'll toggle through a few photos now while I uh, talk to you about it. The idea is to put a gun armory. So all my weapons, the crossbow, compound bow, swords, machetes, rifles, pistols, just the whole freaking lot is going to go down there. Workbench on the end wall and yeah, have that as a, a little sort of armory. You'll see it, I'm sure, later on as this project develops. Still need to obviously insulate up here above us. At, uh, solar panels are going on the roof. We've got scaffolding outside to do those. So once that all happens, once they've been and installed the frameworks, um, yeah, I'll crack on and do that. We are, we have got a problem with this cement. You see, this house is over 130 years old. And originally, they didn't put any felt up naturally. So from here to there, it is just directly the slate roof. And what they've done is they've used cement to obviously block all the slate pieces or the slate tiles in place. Now that's fine, but due to heat and temperature differences throughout the year, what's happening is now the cement is all cracking and breaking up and has left nothing but dust and you know, it's crumbling away. Don't get me wrong, there's still plenty of it, but where there's not, our local builders merchant has given me some of this, um, I think if I'm pronouncing it right, bitumen stuff, you use it on felt roofs. He said, give that a go. Now bear in mind, he kind of give it, he gave it to me. I didn't have to pay for it. He did just say, hey, try this. So I'm gonna give that a go, put it in one of those silicon guns and uh, see about, you know, s gluing them all together, at least where I need to. And then after that, oh, I've got the electric boy, uh, I think his name's Ben, one of my brother's friends. He's coming in to basically, hopefully, fingers crossed and all, he's coming in hopefully to put a plug socket up here for me and hopefully, because I plan to do YouTube up here as well, hopefully I'm going to have some a well-lit room with lights going along the span of the ceiling. We'll see. The idea is inside these eaves have two main lines, uh, train sets, double O gauge, just run around the circumference of the room. That will still be the plan with a 30 centimeter back scene at the back as well. So I won't go all the way against the the support beams, but yeah, enough that it's worth, worth a damn. Otherwise, if it's not worthwhile, why do it? My light box can come up here as well, and that won't, hopefully will no longer have to be packed away every time I'm done using it. So I can leave that out, perfect. And displate storage, once this is actually, once I'm happy with up here and it's all nicely cleaned up and, you know, uh, we, you know, we've done it all. Once I know everything's safe, the displates can come up here. And if possible, I will have some on display. Though I did, and I'll take some photos of them, I did find some canvases up here before I even started down the displate road. I was buying canvases and I've actually got an Alien vs Predator playing snooker or pool. I'll, uh, I'll take a photo of that one because I think some people are going to like that. And it's things like that. I don't know whether to have on display or not, so I'm not sure. The other end of the house, there's another, of course, a brick wall. Where the armory is one end, I could have Alien vs Predator playing pool down the other end. A uh, little table lamp or something might look good. So we'll see. As this project develops, I'll take some more photos. For now, this is it. It's just the floorboards. Yeah, bear with me. Once the solar panels go up, hopefully, hopefully, this next week, um, yeah, we'll, I'll have a
have more for you to, more for you to see and I'll crack on with more more of this project um, I, I can't wait honestly now the floorboards are in and I can actually walk up and down safely I want to crack on yeah my time effort and money is going to go into developing this getting this into somewhat of a you know room to use um, uh, one last thing it's worth mentioning here where the attic door is at the moment we are having to bring in the ladder from outside to get up here hopefully it'll probably be next month in September I'll buy one of those ladders that have I guess support rails here and what you do is you then slide them and then down hopefully we'll see I want life to be as easy as possible not challenging so we will uh, see how it goes but anyway I've waffled on long enough I'm gonna end it here and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Like, share, subscribe, ring the bell if you wish. Comment below if any got any ideas, anything you want to say, just let me know in the comments. And until next time, take care.